Hello COM202 students, this is Dr. Jacob Bryant with your virtual lecture for this module four. I uh, wanted to go ahead and get started and tell you that this module is all about listening. Um, you know, this whole class has been about fundamentals of speech, but you know, what goes right along with speech is listening. And so that'll be the focus of this module. This module is relatively short uh, in comparison because this topic doesn't get a lot of attention. But what's interesting about the fact that this topic doesn't get a lot of attention in this class is, is that a person spends the majority of their time actually listening more than they do speaking. And, you know, it's scriptural, you know, uh, be quick to listen and slow to speak as well. But it, it's interesting, though, that you think you spend the majority of your time listening, but you're probably better at talking than you are listening. Uh, and so those are some things that we'll talk about in this module as well. Uh, so there's a big difference between actually hearing something versus listening to something. Hearing is just the vibration of the sound waves on your eardrums. This is that kind of, yeah, I know my kids heard me, but I don't know that they listened to me kind of thing uh, that parents often say. OK, uh, listening is paying close attention and understanding what we hear. All right. So there's kind of the big difference between hearing and listening. You can you can hear somebody speaking, but are you listening to the words that they're saying? OK, the next thing is just the different types of listening. There's the appreciative. That's pleasure listening. That might be listening to an audio book in the car. Um, you know, audible is big. It might be just listening to music. That would be appreciative pleasure listening, things that you find pleasure in. Empathic is supportive listening. This is the kind of listening where you kind of reflect people's feelings. You know, um, I'm really struggling with this problem right now. And then someone might say back to you, I understand that you have this problem going on, blah, 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 blah. OK, so that empathic listening is that kind of supportive and reflective type of listening. Then there's comprehensive listening to understand. That's what you do during these videos or what you should be doing is listening to understand the content that's being delivered. That's usually an instructional type of listening. You probably do that in church as well. Uh, and then there's the critical and the evaluative type of listening. And you can do that in this speech, uh, in this speech class and also in church as well, whenever you're starting to think about what you're listening to. OK, so you're starting to evaluate the speaker's credibility. Uh, you know, back in in election time, I think about, OK, um, that's when you're evaluating the messages that you see and, and judging them for accuracy and that sort of thing. Uh, that would be that kind of critical type of listening, uh, evaluating the words and, and kind of starting to pass judgment um, of your own. The next thing that you got to think about when listening is your immediacy behaviors. Just like you have want to have good immediacy behaviors when you speak, that eye contact, the body language, gestures that you send. Uh, there are things that can show you're interested based on your body language. You know, the the quote that says, you know, it's it's ten percent what is said and ninety percent is body language or tone. Um, and so that this is that piece of body language. All right, you can see the girl here kind of slouched over whenever you're. Uh, hunched over in your seat, you know, it really speaks to um, how much you're listening. And I think about my preacher at church, you know, he knows when the message is hitting me, if I'm if I'm more bright eyed and bushy tailed versus if I'm laying back counting down how long it's going to take until I'm getting my Sunday chicken. OK. Um, and then the other thing is eye contact. You listen with your eyes just as much as you listen with your ears. OK. Um, and so giving that speaker that good eye contact. Those are all strong immediacy behaviors when you're listening. And I, and I trust me, with your spouses, with your children, with your friends, you want to really show them you're listening. You put together this immediacy piece uh, and you'll win them over. And this is something also that leads to a lot of promotions for people in the job world is their ability to really have that immediacy uh, in their in their listening skills. The bad thing is when you don't listen well, you're not concentrating you might even be listening too hard and not thinking. Uh, you might jump to conclusions uh, and you may focus more on delivery uh, and appearance rather than the actual message. OK, the, uh, I think about this last one sometimes when somebody's delivering a message and they're not doing a good job communicating. I start looking at the, what they're wearing or I start focusing on, oh, my gosh, his speech is awful. Do you hear how he pronounces Friday? OK, um, so all of those are things that that I think about sometimes when the when the speech is not good. And it reminds me that that I am listening poorly, but I also often wonder if the speaker is aware of what they sound like or or how poorly they're delivering the message. Um, you know, not concentrating. That happens to us a lot of times in our lecture courses. That's kind of why I pump those questions into these 
modules is because, you know, without concentration, you're not going to think of and remember the content that I give you in this lecture method as well. Um, and you've probably always seen people that jump to conclusions uh, before they hear you out. And that's because they're not listening well enough. They've got their phone in their hand uh, and they're only partially listening to your message. Okay, spare brain time. This is an interesting phenomenon that I didn't really know about until I started studying communication. And this is the difference between the rate of talk and the rate at which the brain processes the language. This is where for my special ed students that I teach at the middle school level, uh, they have a hard time with this because maybe they're still digesting what I'm saying, but they need that spare brain time to actually process the language and process the message. And this is why a comedian gives you a punchline. Okay, they try to accentuate that punchline in the right time after you've had enough time to think about their lead in, and then they can get right to that punchline and start making you laugh. Um, and so that's kind of an interesting part um, of, of the communication and listening process is that spare brain time. Finally, what often happens uh, that, that is terrible for listening is outside distractions. Just today, even when I was making this video, I was at a, a Mexican restaurant and a family I could not tell you how many times this baby cried and I just could not listen to my wife's mother or father the whole time and pay good attention to the message they were giving me because I was just so anxious about this baby crying in the background. Um, and so when you're speaking and when you're listening, you've got to take the phone and put it away. Okay, Even if you're just glossing and you're thinking you're hearing it, you're not. Um, if you're watching TV, turn the TV off. You cannot be doing both things at once effectively. Um, and these are things that I think in the 21st century that we're facing. These are somewhat kind of those technological crises that we maybe hadn't foreseen in the future. All right, so that is it for the listening lecture. The next thing I want you to do is take a look at the uh, content for the week. So I can go in here to unit four, and it is on outlining and listening. Um, we've already talked about outlining. That's why I didn't include it in this lecture. But essentially, um, there are two articles here, 10 Steps to Become a Better Listener um, and Speech Preparation. Number three, uh, don't skip the speech outline. Okay, so these are good, helpful articles with with you um, as you are, are developing and going through the, qu the quiz this week, which is 4.1. You know, same thing as always, three, uh, three points per question for a total of 30 points. You can retake it as many times as you want, uh, and it takes your highest possible score. Um, the other thing is this uh, reverse engineer speech outline assignment. You maybe have heard of reverse engineer notes before, and basically that's where you um, listen to a speaker and then you go back and take notes on the order with which they um, presented their ideas. And there's a handout here that'll help you with this. This is from the George Mason University Writing Center, um, and it will kind of show you, you know, all right, this is how I write down the main ideas. But essentially what you're doing is you're making an outline for a speech that you watch. So there's a speech here that you're going to watch. You can start at the 120 mark, and then you're going to actually just develop the outline using the informative template for the speech that this guy gets. Do your best. I'm not looking for 100% accuracy. My goal is that you see outlining both forwards and backwards to help you outline in, in future speeches. That's kind of the goal of this assignment uh, is to help you with that. And so, you know, it says here with 80% accuracy, I think is expected um, you know, including the topic, the thesis, the main points, sub points, and the conclusion that you kind of draw while watching this speech. That's called a reverse engineer speech outline. Okay. Um, the last assignment for this week is assignment 4.3, and it does take on a, a forum approach, and it's a listening evaluation of forum. So I talked about these um, five types of listening, including poor listening this week. In a short paragraph, I'm thinking three, no more than probably four sentences, um, talk about how you've engaged in appreciative listening, empathic listening, comprehensive, critical, and poor listening. So roughly a paragraph for each one. Um, and then you're going to reply to two other students. So the, the reflection piece will be due Friday, initial post, Friday midnight, you know, right before it turns 12.01 Saturday morning. And then uh, the two replies due to the forum uh, by Sunday midnight, you know, right before it turns 12.01 on uh, Monday morning, okay? And that's how you get your forum points for the week. So those are the assignments for this particular module. You guys are going to do a great job with those. 
I hope this has been very reflective of, of your listening skills this week. Uh, God bless you. I'll be continuing to pray for you as you go throughout this course. Reach out to me with questions.